Kenya imempoteza kiongozi mwingine kutokana na virusi vya corona ambavyo vinazidi kuongezeka kila uchao. Tayari kaunti kadhaa zimezindua mikakati ya kukabiliana na virusi hivyo. My deputy governor was taken ill a few days at Siloam Hospital and she was responding well to treatment only to lose the battle this morning at 10 a.m. Naibu gavana wa Kericho Susan Kikwai aliaga dunia akipokea matibabu katika hospitali ya Siloam mjini Kericho. Kulingana na gavana wa kaunti ya Kiricho Paul Chepkoni, Pikikwai alikuwa amelazwa katika chumba cha wagonjwa maututi kwa muda sasa. Yes, I have to say without fear of contradiction that our deputy governor tested of covid and it is the disease we took toll on her this morning. And that is why I want to take this opportunity to urge Kenyans to be very 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 careful with the second wave. It is real. We must not lower the guard and we take this very very seriously it's taken away our deputy governor rais urukenyata ameongoza taifa kumomboleza biki kwa yakisema alikuwa kiongozi mwenye bidii na ambaye alikuwa ameipa matakwa ya wakazi wa kaunti yake kipaumbele madam susan kikwai is one of our foremost daughters as a people of kericho we are proud of our achievements uh, both as our deputy governor and during the time that she served uh, in the national government rising through the ranks until uh, i think her top position where she was a ceo at uh, ken invest uh, before she went down to kericho to serve as our deputy governor so we celebrate uh, the life of susan uh, it's, it has come as a shock but it's a timely reminder to all of us that indeed uh, Our time on duty and assignment on this earth is quite short. Kikwaya alikuwa na hudumu muhula wa pili na wa mwisho baada ya kuchaguliwa pamoja na Gavana Paul Kiprono Chepkoni mwaka 2013. Abdezi Zanshim Mwanga wa Ebru.